Hello, my name is Simon Phillips and we are here today in Phantom Recordings, which we have the BAE 1084 in a vintage Neve BMC console. So, snare drum coming in. Just watch my level here. Um, that's just a, a, a Shaw 57 on a snare drum, about two inches away. Uh, it's it sounds like a, a snare drum, but it's a little bit dull. We usually have to help it a little bit. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to switch these to off. And um, throw the EQ button in. And first of all, let's just put some 10K in there. OK. Then my next move typically would be 60 hertz. You can try up to 110, but I, I always feel the lower frequency is a little sweeter. Um, again, it depends what kind of sound you're going for. That's, that's got a nice big bit of weight on it, so for more of a, like a rock ballad, I would definitely use that. Now, if I want a bit more cut, then I'd probably go up to 3.2 or 4.8 and just add a little bit of that, that really brings the presence out of the snare. So, flat with some EQ. Um, again, a lot of the snare drum sound comes from the tuning of the drum. I don't, I don't often change the microphone. I don't even often change the mic position. Just a bit of the tuning of the drum and then the EQ and the gain, of course, to match what's going on with the drum and the music. So that's about that. Now, let's try our uh, Honky Tonk Woman sound. Let's take that out, pull that down. You can hear that's really compressing. Isn't that cool? That's it. Sounds like we've got a compressor on it. That's, but that in a song would be fantastic. 